I just drank a bunch of cold water, so my tongue is numb, so it makes it really hard to say my intro. <laughs> hey alligators, what's up? It's Allie Hardesty, and today's video is going to be me talking about something that I was not sure if I was going to put in its own video or slip it a Q&A or just start randomly mentioning on my channel, but I thought about it and I decided that it deserved its own video for a few reasons, mostly just because I have a lot to say about it and I want to further explain, and I can't just really like, do that in a Q&A or in like another video where it's not related to this topic so that's why I'm here some of you may have already seen on my other social media if you follow me on Instagram Twitter etc if you don't then you definitely should I will put my social media handles on the screen I created a second YouTube channel it's not a vlog channel it's not a family channel obviously it's not a couple channel obviously what this second channel is is an ASMR channel And I know that a lot of people don't know what ASMR is. And if you do know what ASMR is, keep watching because I have a lot more to say. I want to talk about why I actually made this and why I feel like my ASMR channel may be seen as a little controversial and or different than a lot of the other ones, or at least the videos that I plan to put on there. And that's why I kind of want to put this out as like a warning. And if you don't know what ASMR is, the best way I could describe it to you guys is something in your brain that gets triggered by certain noises. For example, when I was an infant, I had really, really curly blonde hair and so at night when I was tired I would twirl my hair in my finger until it got stuck and then I would cry and my mom would have to pry my finger out of my hair but for some reason that feeling or that noise or whatever it was relaxed me so much that I was able to fall asleep at night even though I'm the type of person who could literally not sleep for days on end like right now it's three in the morning and I'm filming this video another example of ASMR would be when your mom whispers in your ear and she's trying to calm you down and get you to go to bed and obviously I'm still talking somewhat loud but picture somebody in your ear really softly it's a really relaxing noise there are different ASMR triggers turning a page in a book could be one of them I know this sounds really crazy because it's something that people may not even realize but it's relaxing them and so when you listen to something that is an ASMR trigger over and over, like somebody is doing it purposely, not everybody, because not everyone experiences ASMR, but most people do, will experience like a tingling sensation in their back, in their spine, and make some people sleepy. And I don't know, it's just a really interesting thing how like your body is able to do that from certain noises and sounds and whispering, etc. And so that's basically what ASMR is. I had a noise machine growing up. My mom had this book that she would whisper to me before I would go to bed when I was younger. I've always listened to ASMR even before I listened to ASMR on YouTube, if that makes sense. I just didn't know it had a name for it. It's one of the very few things that can get me to fall asleep at night. There are YouTube channels dedicated to doing this called ASMRtists. A lot of you guys may be familiar with the slime videos that were like a trend in, what was that, 2016, 2017, 2015? They went viral because they were so oddly satisfying hearing the noises that the slime made. That would be an example of ASMR. They also have ASMR role plays where people will literally pretend to be like nurses or teachers or flight attendants or people doing your makeup or giving you personal attention. It can be really relaxing to hear somebody tuck you into bed or give you an eye exam, but they're whispering and their voice is soothing. And I know it sounds really weird, but don't knock until you try it. I'm honestly just doing it for fun and it's gonna be like a creative outlet for me but of course if people want to follow me and I could make it like an actual thing like I have with this channel that would be dope so I would really appreciate that if you guys want to go over there and subscribe and check it out I'm going to be posting a lot on there over time and I'm gonna be trying different things but this is another reason why I wanted to make this a video I don't want people to take the things I post on there the wrong way because ASMR is like I said a very different community if you're searching YouTube late at night and you get over to that side of YouTube you know what I'm saying like weird stuff that you just don't even know how you found or how it was recommended to you. ASMR could sometimes classify in that category. Honestly, some of my favorite types of ASMR are the bitchy role plays when people pretend to be mean to you, but they're like whispering. <laughs> Those are like weirdly entertaining because they're funny, but they're so relaxing that you're like laughing in your head as you fall asleep. Those are definitely gonna be a popular type of ASMR that I'll probably do on that channel. I already did one and it was so much fun. If you're not getting invited to parties this late in the semester, you're probably not going to. So you did want to sit? I mean, honestly, that's kind of gross because I don't know if you have anything. We probably shouldn't share drinks on second thought. Will you hold still? I can't work on your face. 
when you're moving so much. I just want you guys to understand that that is just me taking on a role. Like, if you guys ever meet me in person, I swear to God, I am the nicest person. Like, I will never actually act like the way I am in those role plays. Those are just role plays. And I think you guys could see the humor in them if you watch them. I've had a lot of people tell me that I should have just started posting these videos on this channel because I already have a following on here. But I understand that it is such different kind of content. Like, I wouldn't want to mix it. Like, I just felt it was only right to make a different channel because I know not everybody signed up for that if I were to post that on here and people would probably be really, really confused because like, it just can look very weird. I feel like if you don't know what ASMR is, if you're seeing me being like really rude and pretending to do someone's makeup who's not there, you're gonna be like, okay, Allie has gone crazy. Or like, this is an Allie conspiracy theory, like some robot girl replaced her, what happened to her channel, what happened to her story times. I'm also planning on doing whispered story times on that channel. Obviously I'm not gonna take away from the content that I would post on my main channel, but just some other little stories here and there that I haven't shared on here that I'll be whispering spring and I think it's gonna be fun because you guys see a certain side of me on here where I'm very loud and I talk really fast you'll see a very calm side of me that doesn't get shown very often and I'm definitely gonna do like weird role plays and weird creative things that I haven't even seen other ASM artists do because I've had ideas and I've been like why hasn't anyone done this okay if I want other people to make this content and it's not happening I'm a content creator why don't I just make my own channel and just do it myself I don't really know other youtubers who have ASMR channels like I know ASMR some artists who have regular YouTube channels, they started after their ASMR channels, so that's kind of like their backup thing. Like I said, most people have vlog channels or family channels or couple channels, but nobody has ASMR channels, so I feel like it's just something that I needed to explain. I listened to it anyways, it just makes sense. I wanted to learn how to do it and how to use a microphone. I'm still going to be learning as I'm posting videos, so my content is probably gonna get progressively better, just like it did on this channel. I would hope at least, like I got more comfortable in front of the camera, got better equipment, more practice with editing, etc. Like I said, please don't take me too seriously on there. I'm just having fun with it. Thank you guys for watching this video and thank you guys for checking out that channel if you have or if you're about to right now. Watch the videos, leave some comments, leave some suggestions, some requests, etc. I love you guys. Thumbs up this video. Comment below letting me know what you think. Follow my social media. I also have a Patreon if you guys want to check that out for additional videos, exclusive photo shoots, private Snapchat, etc. Linked below in the description box. I'm also going to be doing a giveaway on there when I hit a certain amount of subscribers. I haven't decided what that subscriber count should be. But if you want to be entered in that and win something cool, then go ahead and subscribe. That automatically enters you. And yeah, thank you for watching. Subscribe to this channel too if you're new. And I will see you guys in the next video. Later, alligators. Bye.